conversation really started about two years ago uh, when we as a staff and some elected officials got together and asked to meet with a bunch of community stakeholders to determine what our economic development goals would be. And the unanimous uh, decision or consensus was that housing was needed. And we had lots at that time that were, um, we felt like we'd, we'd have enough lots for 10 plus years. Um, the housing market and new construction has really picked up over the past two years and, and those lots have kind of flown off the table, uh, and which is a great thing. Um, but that's leading us to, hey, we need to plan for that next area. Hi, my name's Aaron Jensen. I'm the City Administrator with the City of Wapaka, and I want to tell you a little bit about the vision for the River North subdivision that's planned out on the east side of town. That area has just naturally morphed into something that supports residential more than uh, the heavy industry that it was for the last 20 years. There's a sunny day childcare there. Uh, there is Fox Valley Technical College. There's fine and sport physical therapy. These are things that really add to a neighborhood type feel more than plopping heavy industry in that area. And how much in the neighborhood will be single family, large multifamily, dual family. And that's it's flexible, I think, at this point. Right now, we have a plan, but like a lot of our plans, we, we understand that that's kind of a vision that was come up with. Once we get developers in the mix, that can change and we can work with people on that layout. Hello everybody, I'm Mayor Brian Smith. We wanted to talk a little bit about River North today and, and uh, I just wanted to talk about why we decided to choose the area that we're talking about, which is uh, just uh, south of Royalton Street uh, in our industrial area. We've had some vacant land out there that we've owned for over 25 years. It's paid for in, in completion. We haven't seen a whole lot of development in this area. Our uh, economic development advisor, uh, Andrew Dane, that looked at, at residential areas throughout our community and, and he suggested that that might be a good place for it because other communities are putting residential areas in business and industrial type places. And actually even Wapaka has done that too. If you look out by the airport, the original vision for that was uh, light industrial and business and, and that's actually turned into multifamily and residential and it's been very successful. Not only do the current businesses out there and the organizations support that um, as a neighborhood development, it has trails that tie into the Wapaka River uh, that could support a neighborhood development. It has pro close proximity to Highway 10, which we've seen a lot of momentum on our east side of town. It's called the Eastgate subdivision, which has had the most new construction. Um, so not only are we looking for people to fill the jobs that we have and bring in people for that, we are also seeing the need um, and the want for people to, maybe they work in Appleton, maybe they work in Point, maybe they're split with a family uh, and they have that easy access to Highway 10 and they think Wapak is a pretty great place. So The city already owns that land, so we don't have to go out and purchase additional land. You know, we have utilities out there already. We have the sewer and the water. We just have to expand it into that property. Uh, and uh, we'll have to put in some infrastructures, the roads and, and things like that. But we'll be able to use uh, uh, funding uh, to build that infrastructure, which will make it uh, a little bit more easier for people to be able to build homes in that area. So the biggest local driving force of needing more housing is we listen to our stakeholders and our, our um, our large employers specifically uh, who said hey we you know we have jobs we have openings um, we may have over 100 openings uh, right now we just need to attract people and one of the things that can help attract people is providing quality affordable housing and that's really what we're aiming to do 